Okay. Right, but it's the future. Or, or Rims, I don't know. Yeah, but that's, well, I don't know what I do. I, I'll, I'll put something creative in the YouTube title for now. The on-screen title. We're covering. We're covering Halliburton, and you know, just put Blackburn, Halliburton, and the new OS. Uh, that's essentially the two things we're covering. Anyway, first up is, is Halliburton. They're they're here in my hometown of Houston, and yes, they're ditching Blackberries for the iPhone. My opinion, massive mistake of global proportions. Uh, iOS is not an enterprise. OS, and I just think that there's somebody up in Halliburton that's just a, a what we would call an Apple purist uh, that is not making a strategic. They, I would. It does it really kill Halliburton to wait till September for for uh, Rims new deployment because Rims already shown that they've got the balance work where they sandbox total consumer applications and they're able to work on an enterprise push of applications and required installs. I mean, everything that Enterprise loves. Do they really want to go into a walled garden? And, and, and Halliburton, I think, is, is, is off. Also, even, look at the US government military chose Android over the iPhone. Yeah, I'm gonna and, say, I could yeah. understand ditching for Android or WebOS or even Phone 7, but iOS? <laughs> yeah, I, it's no. I can't, no, I, I'm sorry. It's just not a, somebody is a massive Apple purist up there and just wants to feel, <laughs> I think it's a, a, a global massive mistake. They bought a Mac, they saw the shiny, head into the shiny! <laughs> I think that, that is, that, that, wow. I'm, I'm, wow. So I would, <laughs> see, I would not use iOS for, for my company. It's just, just, and, and I, I'm the most like the most efficient things that I can think of that I want my company to do. I just think that this is totally an emotional Apple uh, purist fanboy maneuver. Who um, made this decision? Was it the CEO or the? No, they said oh, great research. Yeah, after significant research, sure. I I, I, I really well, all that tells me is that there was no real research done to be. I mean, if the U.S. military is going to go with Android, which uh, iOS tries to, uh, you know, Apple purists try to say is is a security-ridden problem, but it's not that big of a problem for the U.S. military. I mean, they get their they they get to use the openness of it, of which other. Uh, uh, which if I know. honestly had to guess, my guess would be every Android device that the U.S. military is using has had a a. Uh, Government designed root kit added to it. Oh yeah, it's got its own ROM there. I mean, yeah. the thing about it is that that's, that is another powerful play for Android. It is truly open that Apple doesn't. Of course, like the, these Apple pundits like to point out, it's not really that open. Yeah, if it weren't really that open, it wouldn't really be on the U.S. military. I, mean, I know the U.S. military said, yeah, we looked at we looked at the iOS. Uh, oh, but then Apple wasn't really interested in showing us their source code. Right? So. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think Halliburton, I, I don't know what you're thinking. And RIM is on the verge of releasing their their new operating system, which is just kick-ass. You can do all of your programs for enterprise level with all the enterprise features there, there, and you're not willing to wait a few months. It's just, I think, a ludicrous thing because I really feel I, re I really feel that um, RIM will probably make a comeback within, an, within enterprise. And all this money they're going to waste... Uh, on, on, on the iPhone, I guess they have cash to burn, in my opinion. I, I, I don't know. Um, on, I, I, I hope, just so there's more competition, that RIM can make a comeback. But it, they're a little behind the eight ball right now. And why I agree what they have coming out. In, in the next year and probably the next rendition of it is probably going to be a, a true good offering. Part of me is like, at this point, is it too little too late? You know, it, it's... Cause what is what too little too late? That RIM is finally offering these features that a lot have you know sought for. Because here's the thing, RIM has always been a niche market you know they're they're never they were never going to be because their their, their customer no, was corporate and it became the largest provider because of the whole 
texting and email movement that happened, and they had their own servers and everything. They really yes, still ahead but but what people. but BlackBerry's hallmark was corporate. You know, was the security but was. But, but the term BlackBerry, um, <laughs> the term BlackBerry actually comes from many consumers and celebrities loving their Blackberries. That's the whole term of BlackBerry, where, where you get that BlackBerry term. Yes, they're a very enterprise issue. And I, I listen to this podcast where it's like, BES and BIS is so, it's just so outdated. Yeah, that's why Apple's trying to, it's to copy the same thing you know, with, their, with their BBM and everything. I mean, it's like ridiculous. R RIM has the right idea, and their damn CEOs that resign uh, hurt the company in moving the, the BlackBerry uh, faster to uh, what could, I mean, it's like we said, 2010, they finally had a touch UI with other things. Uh, it's uh, what, the OS that I have now, my BlackBerry, if this were out on the Blackberries in even 08, we wouldn't be having this discussion. If BlackBerry had OS 7.1 back in 08, there, would, there, wouldn't, there wouldn't even be a discussion. Because so OS 7.1 Halliburton is a great operating system. Uh, you know, but uh, of course it's, it's, it's a dying operating system because you already know that the new one's coming out. That's what I'm saying. Really? Just use OS 7.1 for now and, and wait. Now, if you don't like Blackberry's offering that they have with the new OS, uh, that you get to try it and everything else, then okay, you know what, I, I still think, I, I'm just not a fan of iOS. I, I love the Mac and OS X. I, I think I've made it extremely clear in all the videos that <laughs> iOS is my least like mobile operating system. Yes, he prefers his web OS. I mean, I, 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 I've owned three iPhones, they all drove me crazy. Uh, they were always limited in features. I always had to jailbreak it to get what the hell I wanted it to do. You know, it's it's just a it's absolute misery. Well, I did, but see, there were like some BlackBerry purists who didn't even want Blackberries to go touch. They wanted them to stay query keyboard and so on. Touch is great, but I do like the hard keyboard. That's why I have the best of. Is it you know you have touch and the keyboard? You know, touch it does work for a lot of good things. Uh, you don't always need to scroll a ball to navigate your thing. Touch is faster than some implementations, but for human input, on the that is one way. Honestly, in which BlackBerry could get a lot of people actually, because they're one of the few devices out there I know that is embracing touch but keeping the query keyboard. At oh, least they have a device out there with the query. Because think about it, it's getting harder and harder to buy an Android device with an actual physical keyboard. And iOS doesn't even have one. I don't think WebOS has one. Uh, no, Keyboard. Say what? My, yes, WebOS does have a hard keyboard. They do? So, okay. Yes. My 9810 is actually the exact same form factor as my Palm 32. Okay. I still prefer the sideways swipe, but... Okay, you know, that, you know I, 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 there are the droids that, yeah, you, you're talking about you pull the keyboard out on the, on the landscape. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, too. Yeah. I, well, I prefer that just because it's a larger keyboard and I have sure. fat thumbs. <laughs> I am not a small person. I, I briefly owned a droid, the first droid, briefly. Uh, but see, Android's all, uh, always frustrated me as well, uh, but not as not nearly as much as, as iOS has. But uh, yeah, that droid was pretty cool. You know, you flip it. Yeah, but more and more Android's not building phones like that, and that's annoying. It's raw yeah. going touchscreen. And you know what? I hate the fucking touchscreen keyboards. I love... I, I, I kill half the real estate. I mean, it's just... No, it's that's crazy. not the big problem I have with it. Half the time I go to push, and I accidentally push the key next to it. Oh, <laughs> I know. I, I, yeah, and, and then it's just weird when you touch it, and then like each have their own implementation when the key gets larger, or whoop, pops up. And, yeah, I mean, granted, the voice is getting there, but it's not fully perfect on, on any platform. 
And honestly, I'm a crazy person because I want my numbers and letters at the same time. I don't want to have to switch screens, I don't want to have to push the top row of things and wait for it to bring up the thing and then click the mark I want and then it's like, no, just give me them all at once. But you can't do that on the on-screen keyboard because there's not enough space. It's just, ugh. All right, the next BlackBerry story. Rem's new CEO, BlackBerry's next-gen software training compete. I agree. The the differences that WebOS and QNX Rem has is that you are really getting concurrency with these operating systems. I'm used to it, my, my, uh, my BlackBerry tablet. That is powerful mobile software. And the more that it's out there, and companies like Halliburton see it, they're going to go, oh, shoot. Probably go take that iOS Pierce fanboy in the cloud. I hope so. they rent instead of buy. <laughs> you know, it, it's just, I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I it's, I, Q, QNX and WebOS are over 10. Android has that a little bit, but Android's going more of the way of iOS, especially with a new. Uh, other than saying they did extensive research, what was the reason they gave? For what? Going iOS. Like, what feature did it offer that they just said they liked? Oh, on Ice Cream Sandwich, they're having more memory, automated memory management, where the system decides over the user. So, uh, it's kind of like what I hate. Let's say I'm in an important application, and it's got a memory footprint. And then you have another application with a giant footprint. Like iOS will automatically just shut it down. Throw it all out of memory, and when you try to go back to it, you're starting over. You cannot stand that. Now, usually like on our desktop computers, when we start maxing this performance, it gets sluggish, right? Right. I expect that on a phone. Okay, if I'm pushing it, it responds accordingly. Yeah, if I'm asking well. you to do 170%, I expect you to get a little laggy. Possibly exactly. even on Android, give me that. Process is delayed. Wait, you know, I, I I expect that wait kill thing to pop up. I do. Right. I mean, if I am if I am about ready to launch something that's gonna that is is just can't okay. Then we have too many tasks. And yeah, I understand it's a mobile platform. I'm not asking for professional level apps like Photoshop to be run, but I like to run apps concurrently so I can move so they can uh, there's like communicate like. I artificially say, but I'd like to have communication many times with, between apps. Like if I can't have on, on, on many desktop apps, where I, I want a piece of this to do something for me for this app, so I can throw it in there, do a little function while it's running, come back over here while that's doing its thing, and add a little bit more. Because I hate how iOS makes it like one damn step at a time. So but somebody I, was at the at the conference I was at earlier tonight. Somebody was, had an iPad there. And they were they were basically having that conversation. They were like, "This thing's great when I do simple stuff, but God damn it, anytime I try and do something, son, I just want to. I hate this thing." <laughs> yeah, it's it, and one thing. And it's like the old browser. You know, when I started doing uh, web applications, serious web applications, like for hospitals and things, I'm talking early, early on, before even AJAX was a concept. I started working <laughs> using heavy frames and things like that to get concurrency within a browser for concurrent processing. I hated how it, the browser window was a single portrait mode, and then it, you click, and then it does something and comes back. I hated that, Rusty. I did everything. I mean, that's how I, I landed all the jobs that, I, that I've had, just working for Xerox and Microsoft. And a lot of the things that I've even done consulting, and things like that, was because I could not take it. And iOS reminds me of those old days of, Here's a freaking browser. If you want to do so, hit the back button so the whole thing can go and focus on one little thing at a time. And every application I ever built broke that mold. And I forced concurrency into doing more things at once and truly made something from a brochure to a real application in a web browser. And I'm very proud of, 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 of coming from that that many years ago. And I, iOS, it's sad to see a modern day mobile operating system mimicking this idiotic simple t when iOS is fully capable of running a few tasks concurrently and managing oh the no but see then it won't be shiny then it'll okay, then people will have the ability to ask their machine to do more than it can we can't allow that 
They'll have a bad experience. They'll be iOS can do clearly. Okay, let's save off this this app. You know this this uh, you know, or, or so friendly thing. Good lord! If Apple was tacky enough to shut down all functions for an alert pop up, remember that on the original. Oh, you have a text message. You couldn't do a fucking thing until you hit OK in iOS. It was the most ridiculous. And I and iOS five is the thing that 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 changed all that. Or was it iOS? Or what, and that wasn't four. That that was. It was iOS. The new notifications it, came with five, right? Yeah. yeah. And so and so, uh, I mean, this is how long it took for Credit Lab. Took a second generation to get copy and paste. I mean, it was just, oh my god, the, the the things that Android had copy and paste out of the gate. Windows Mobile had copy and paste. Windows no, Windows no, Windows no. Windows. Actually, Windows Mobile was missing a few features out of the game. Wait, Windows Mobile 6.5 had copy and paste. I'm not talking about Phone 7. Oh, Phone okay. 7 backwards in features from 6.5 and, and, and things. But 6.5 wasn't the latest. You know, wasn't. Well, yeah, I, I'm going to say, do you really want to compare 6.5 to the yeah, current? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> simple functions, Rusty. I'm talking about, come, come on. Okay, okay. And, and RIM had copy and paste. But it had a start menu. What are you talking about, RIM? No. Search. Oh, you're talking about 6. No, I moved off. I'm just, I'm just using 6. five as a model, at least for having copy and paste. RIM's BlackBerry. Oh. Old, even the, some of the older OS had copy and paste. This is, it's, it was just, what are you thinking? So if you can be as tacky of, of, of posting up an idiotic pop-up that forces me to say, okay, you can do something and say, all right, you, we're, we're here at, at, at the maximum of things, so let's either save off an application or do something rather than doing I mean, do you know how frustrating that would be for somebody that's in productivity? Because you've got something open, you expect it to run, all of a sudden you hit a, a, an application that iOS, because it knows better than everything, shuts down an entire memory print and you've lost everything on there. You have to restart and start from scratch on an app. Don't call it a web application and a true little mobile operating system if it's going to do all this crap in this day and age. You know what I'm saying? But the computer knows better than you. It's the computer. <laughs> I'm just saying it's ridiculous. We're going back to the days where truly we were limited, really, by many factors. This is I know. To me. This is the kind of shit on principle I'm talking about. That iOS is the epitome of my irritation with these things. Uh, you, you, as much as you complain about this, I complain about it way more. Because my honest opinion is I look at what our computers are capable of doing today on average. Some of our systems are pieces of shit, but I just look like what the average computing power available. And I look at how underutilized it is and just I'm like... Oh my God! The computer could be doing this, 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 and this. It could be handling this if it's a. But the limitation is somebody decided I shouldn't be allowed to do that, and that's that, and that's just. Uh. But I, I love this BlackBerry OS. QNX is kicking ass, man. It it, is, it, 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 it does what you would expect it to. What, do you know what have, kind of core QNX has? Is it like? It's a real time. It's a real. It's a real time. Uh, processing kernel. I, I, but, uh, 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 so, uh, okay, if it's, if it's, if it's real-time true multitasking, that wouldn't be Unix or anything like that, but... But Q, QNX, uh, I think is, I don't know if they're POSIX, but QNX is not a, like, uh, what I mean by real-time is it's not interim schedule. Real-time means there's a synchronous schedule to CPU execution versus, like, interrupt interrupt levels. Right. Where you have mutexes and things like that. Um, and, and for those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, we will bring time. the diagrams out next time. Because <laughs> <laughs> you almost yeah, need... It's been around for a long time. So. Yeah. Okay, were there other room stories? Or is that the place to... That was a two room stories. I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, anything else we want to go into, or do we want to just tail off there? I guess we can just tail off there. Yeah. Okay, we're at about an hour anyways. That's cool. Okay.